Today I just thought we'd take a look at these meters sent to us by Kyle Eats. A few months ago we looked at the KM601 from Kyle Eats, and today we're looking at a little combo set of a multifunction voltage tester and a pin type multimeter. This is the ST100. It seems like you can buy these individually or as a combo and it's just an excellent price on these meters and when they said it's them to me to look at and do a review on I was happy to do it. Um, I, I really think they look great for the money and I can't wait to see the display and all the features they have. So we'll check them out here together. We'll start off here with the ST120. I think this is the one that got my eye the most. I think for checking boards and stuff it'll be neat to have the LCD display like right there in your hand. That's kind of neat. So okay the tip on here we got the category 2 or category 3. So we can leave that protector on for category 3. It comes with a common lead. Yep, so we just plug it up like so when we want to use the two leads. That's cool. And it also has the Category 3 sleeve on there for protection as well. So Category 2 or 3, up to 600 volt leads. Yep. And we got a cover there. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put the batteries in it and test this one first. Take the screw out. Okay, the cover actually shows the direction of the batteries and it takes two triple A's, negative in to the left, positive to the right. Yep, and we are powered up. Put the screw back in. I like that display. I'll take the cover off here. Awesome. Nice. So we do power up in auto. We do see our timed off, so after 15 minutes they would turn off. We got a little LED light here right at the tip. So when you're testing stuff, it's right there where you need it. So we go to function here. We, we go from auto to DC volts. Then we go to AC volts, ohms, continuity check, diode check, frequency, capacitance, live, and we also have PA, which is going to be our phase rotation or phase sequence check. And back to auto. It looks really, really handy. All right, so let's go ahead and let's open up the ST100. Real similar. We have an owner's manual in the leads. But this one does have jacks for both leads. So this was more of a little multifunction meter. Let's go ahead and put the batteries in it and we'll check it out. Same thing, two triple A's, negative in to the left here, positive to the right. The cover tells you orientation. So we see this one comes up in non-contact voltage, and then it goes to auto. So that is different between the two. This one's mainly a non-contact voltage check when you first cut it on for convenience. This one also has the phase uh, sequence check and a nice LED as well. I guess I should cut the bench light off so you can see it a little bit better and a more dim light. Pretty neat, kind of like the KM601 also had a light built in if you needed it and both of these do as well. You can also kind of see how nice the display lights up in the dark. Some of my favorite displays on meters are these Kiwit meters. I really, really like them. So yeah, we'll do a little more with the non-contact voltage, but that works well. So we got auto, which does our voltage, ohms, and continuity. We we'll press it again. We go to frequency, capacitance, diode check, and live. I do like the rubberized indicators here. So these LEDs, that's not plastic. That's actually a rubber indicator. So these are your common uh, Kiwi's leads. They are the category three, 600 volt as well. And that goes with the ST100. 
Now they do come with nice owner's manuals. I'll go over both of these more towards the end of the video so you'll see more about these um, specs and the manual itself. Stay tuned towards the end of the video if you're interested in seeing those. But I want to get right into testing this and I'm going to look at this board. I chose this board because it has resistors, diodes, capacitors, even an SCR. So it's got high voltage capacitors and I just thought we'd do a real world check here of how a technician would use it rather than bore you to death with any kind of calibration or accuracy data because as I mentioned in the last Kyle Weeks video I don't have the equipment to show the accuracy and calibration of them because that's not what I do or what I care to do I'm just going to show them in the real world testing out on the board so so first off we're going to check a 25 ohm resistor and I'm going to put the uh, color code up here from resistorcolorcodecalc.com. So hopefully you can enjoy seeing that a little better if you can't see the bands on the resistor. And I'm only getting 21.3, which that is still a good resistor, but it's just a little bit odd that it's reading 21.3. Let's bring over the ST100. And I'm reading 23.45. That's, that's a lot closer to what it should be. I mean, these are in circuit, of course, and a little bit lower is fine, but... I'm a little bit confused to why this one read that much lower. So let's look at this again. So in auto we're reading right at 20 ohms. But I will say it goes to continuity test. And continuity just says it buzzes when it's approximately 50 ohms or less. So it's not really giving us any real specs or accuracy data. And I just realized that during this video. So if I go to the ohms mode, will it read any different? So ohms mode does give us some accuracy and and actually yeah it does it reads 24.3 so that that is a little bit odd but again it went to the continuity mode and not the actual true resistance mode for accuracy so but let's just keep going here in auto though this is going to be a 0.5 ohm so actually a 0.51 ohm resistor so anything below one ohm is going to be fine because I think the resolution on this showed is a one ohm resolution. So most meters that it reads below one ohm is gonna be good or even a little over. So that's good. We also have a very common one K ohm resistor on here and yep, 0.97K. See how close we read, yep, 0.971K, perfect. We also have a 100K, 97.5K. 97.3.4k yep we also have a 39 ohm power resistor this is going to be another low ohm reading so what does it do yep continuity in 34 let's real quick switch it over to resistance mode yep 38 ohms so you do see still a difference there with the low ohms and just to show you real quick this one actually does not have that it's reading closer in auto but auto is all you have this one does not have the actual um, mode you can go to for just resistance and we're reading 37 38 ohms so perfect let's move on here to capacitance and this is a fairly high voltage capacitor 7.5 microfarad and we're reading 6.85 and 7.5 plus or minus 10 percent i'll show the capacitance uh test accuracy up here and resolution on the two respectively they are just a tad bit different most of the other specs are very very close yeah 6.8 yeah 6.8 that's cool all right let's move on to these other caps we have a 684, so we should be like 0.68. We're reading 0.656. And this is a 155, so it should be like 1.5. 1.48. This one's also a 155. 146. Perfect. All these checks again are in circuit, so uh, 1.46, yeah, 0.47, good. Let's check this 0.684, yep, 0.66, yeah, 0.662, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.6, 0.
and the 155 is 149. All right, let's see what it does in diode mode here. So, yep, open. All right, this uh, 0.49 forward voltage drop. Yep, yep. We don't have the beep here. I wish it did beep, but um, some some meters don't beep. But it does give us a nice display and right in the palm of our hand here, literally. And I'm just showing here in my left hand that it's upside down, but it's still very easy to see. I actually like it. If you see here, it shows up so well. It's easy to see. If, so we keep going around here. 0 0.55. 0 0.56. Put our light on here so you can see it actually on the board. Give us a little light where you need it. And back off. Let's do the display hold check. So 0 0.56 hold. And there you go. If you did get in a spot where you couldn't see the display good, just hold it. And we'll do the ST100 the same way here in diode check. Yep, open. 0 0.49. 0 0.49. Open. Yeah, no beep on this one either, unfortunately. 0.56. Yep, it's all good. 0.56. And we got the hold on that one as well. We'll put it back on here. Open. And release yep it goes straight to working yep I like it oh that was good let's let's check this SCR so I put the data sheet up here for this SCR and it is a TO220 package and the cathode is on the left or pin 1 the anode is pin 2 or the tab and gate is going to be on pin 3 so we want to put our positive lead on our anode and the cathode gets our common lead and we should get into mega ohms or very high resistance here then if i bring over a jumper and go from the gate we jump it to the anode we should drop in resistance a lot if we do trigger the gate so we got a little bit of voltage coming out of our meter is it enough yep 63 ohms so we definitely see that transition when it's triggered let's do the same exact thing with the st100 now we're showing into the mega ohms get a little closer where you can see it here as we take the jumper from the gate to the anode yep 62.8 ohms yep so we tested that it's not shorted and we've also tested that when we do put some gate voltage on it that it does conduct so all in all i'm very happy with how quick and easy it was to diagnose this board and do the checks on it but i feel like we still need to do some work with ac uh, live voltage here <laughs> we'll keep the tips covered but I guess the first thing we'll do is the live check with the ST120. So if we go to live mode, it should only go off when we get on the hot side. And there we go. It's very visual and audible. It's no doubt you have found the correct wire if you're looking for the hot wire. It's not fooled by the neutral one bit. course just your floating ground got the wire right there wrapped up yep no issue when you put it right on 120 volts yep the display shows high we get our LED indicators as well as the the beep nice could definitely be handy for a lot of things all in all I really like this meter a lot and for the money it's gonna be hard to beat it okay now with the ST100 Remember when it powers up, it comes straight into the non-contact voltage check and it's not easily fooled. You go around insulation and you have to get right on the side of where the hot is to start beeping. And the closer we get, the better it shows. And if we go to the tip here, it shows up very easily. And it's got like a bar graph on it, which is handy. And you can tap a rub and it'll show a little like most like most voltage pins, but no fooling it with the neutral whatsoever. And we see here, the closer we get to the field, the more we light up on our bar graph. And the further away we get, very proportional. I like that a lot. So we also need to do a quick voltage range check. Just 24 volt supply here on the bench. 
24.16 works great check our other one 24.19 great Probably need to check the AC voltage scale as well. Here we go. Let's flip it on. 119.7. Now the ST120. Same thing. Let's cut the power on. Yep, 119.4. As we cut the bench light off, we get to see the display a lot better and how well that'll show up in dim light. It's not too bright to blind you, but it's just right to be lit up to be very visual. So overall, very positive about these meters and the checks and how easy they were to use on the bench. For the price, it will be very hard to beat them, but even taking the price advantage off, they're still very handy tools. And as far as the size, the nice display, the features that they have for their size, and for the price, the built-in light, I think they will be excellent and could be handy for a lot of different things. Some of the things that I would not say negative, but might will be an improvement, just to give some improvement ideas on the product. One thing will be that you can't cut the beep off, so just going through the functions, as you could tell in the video, I went through it a lot, but I was simply testing the product. But you couldn't turn that beep off as you go through the buttons or the functions. And I could see how that could get annoying in some situations. And as far as I could tell, you could not disable that. While we're on the subject of the beep, the diode check, I wish it did have a beep on diode check when you're doing a quick, you know, diode or transistor check. So the continuity reading resistance thing is a minor deal, but you would think the resistance would read the same whether it was in continuity mode or resistance mode. And of course, the update time is not the fastest on these meters, but that's kind of any auto function, auto ranging meter. It takes them a little while to, to get to the reading to be stable. But all in all, I have nothing but positive things to say about both of the meters. I mentioned before about like using lithium batteries. In some situations, like I think these will be great in a glove box or a toolbox of your truck. Your temperature changes and things. Sometimes alkaline batteries, they're notorious for leaking, especially with temperature changes or high temperatures. And just age in general, you know, lifting something five or six years, it's, it's typically going to ruin it. So just thought I'd throw this out there as, uh, as a tip. I actually mentioned this on the KM601 review as well. That sometimes on a meter, I will try to put lithium batteries in it. So you won't have that chance of corrosion in the future. I'm going to take time now in the video to go through the owner's manuals. And we'll do the ST100 first. And this is just going over our product overview and some of the features. You're welcome to pause or do a snapshot on these if you would like. Get into some of our specs and accuracies here. And this is the ST120 product overview. Just some of the operating modes here. Sometimes it shows gear there, but it just means like mode or selection. Here we're getting into our accuracy specs here. I'll try to go back into the video and have the some of the specs on accuracy up there during some of the tests as well if it's helpful. We also have the QR code for the Kawiks website if interested. That was also in the back of the operation manual. So I hope you enjoyed this look at these Kawiks meters. I really appreciate them sending them to us so we could look at them. If you did like these meters and would like to check them out, we'll have links down below. Any link you click on is the affiliate link and it does help support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching 
and God bless.